Hello guys, my name is Ashish and welcome here on today's video. So, uh, if you have just noticed, like, this is a quick render I did um, not a long back. So, it's just a Mercedes SUV which I did a sketch and then on the top of it I did a few colours here and there like a red in the background, some wheels. I could have made it much nicer if I export some width on it. You have you see some shadows down and some reflections in the glass and some surfaces on the side panel but which looks kinda cool. So um I know many people want to do some cool kind of renders like um, if if not like this maybe better than this as well. I'm still learning. I'm not the best on it. Uh, but still I will show you some of the tricks what I do and uh, how I render so basically I have this sketch of mine which I didn't do a long back it has very rough ideas here and there and I like the shape of it I like the stance I like the proportions of this uh, hot hatch kind of car so but it looks nice can kind of a mid segment SUV we can say as well if you want to but to see yeah uh, sorry three though so what i'm gonna do is just copy this uh sketch and uh put it on this shit here which is a new file and i'll just close this one and that one i don't need these now so i'll just put it on full screen so that we can have a little nice look of it and here we begin Alright guys, so uh, what we have done so far is basically uh, I sketched over the same sketch which I had um, This was my initial sketch and then I sketched over the same thing But I cleaned up uh, my sketch a little bit. I did some um, areas uh, like over here uh, and I draw the rear side mirrors a little bit on that side the wheels got a little bit portion I corrected this I corrected this area uh, corrected on this area as well so I and also my fog lamp so when you have the rough sketch you don't need to worry because um, it's not the present the work you're gonna present to somebody or post it anywhere but basically when you're rendering you can still change a little bit on your designs so that's what the main thing is so that's that's that that's my kind of final uh, sketch and I also borrowed some wheels from online 
um, so I imported some wheels from you will find them there are many um, cool sketches uh, online so you can just borrow these cool looking wheels from there and uh, add that so I what the next thing I did was I created some path so these are my paths which I created for my car um, if you can't see let me just do uh, this one a little bit down. so I created this path this path this path this path um, this path this path and this path so these are my paths which are going to help me for the render so which would give me the clean lines and stuff all right so next thing which I did is create some background so this was my background which I created and I added this color so the color which I can add is basically I can select this path which I created in the beginning and I can select any color for my car which I want red looks cool green looks cool as well yeah um, I did go on to a little bit on the darkish orange this is the yellowish or let's say this is kind of cool color as well there are many renders you would find on this color online um, but let's uh, not go into the same or my purple so you select the color which you want to do and carry on with the render but let's just make it a little bit on the orangish side which I already had it before so this was the color this is the color which I'm going to now um, also let's just make the wheels a little bit brighter so that will do now the next thing which I'm going to do is put highlights on put shadows on and some detailing on and my render is done so half the stuff is the hard part is done but the cool part is just gonna add more details now so the cool stuff is just now we're gonna do so carry on and enjoy your time lapse 